My name is Becca Surya, and I'm a public health ecologist with Multnomah County Vector Control. Much of my day is spent driving, setting, and retrieving live mosquito traps throughout the county. Monitoring the adult mosquito populations is my specialty. Mornings are my favorite, especially during the late spring, summer, and the early fall when it's not raining. This morning, I'm on Savi Island. Although all mosquitoes are annoying, we're most concerned with the species that spread dangerous diseases like West Nile virus. This requires me to capture the mosquitoes alive. To do this, we set special traps that use dry ice as bait. It's the CO2 vapor that attracts them, much like when we exhale and breathe. This is a late season trapping of maybe a dozen mosquitoes, but in midsummer there can be over a thousand in a single trap. We set these traps throughout the summer, from Oaks Bottom and Selwood all the way past Multnomah Falls in the Gorge. Once I've retrieved the traps, it's time to head back to the lab. When I'm not working, I really like to camp, hike, and go snowshoeing. So I'm pretty passionate about conserving the environment, which makes this a perfect job for me. The live mosquitoes are knocked out using carbon dioxide, which allows me to sort and count them by species. We've learned that the best way to control the adult mosquito population is by controlling their larvae. The sorted mosquitoes are placed in vials, then frozen, before they are sent to Oregon State's Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory for West Nile virus testing. Another part of my job is to examine, sort, and count the mosquito larvae samples that were collected by the vector control specialists out in the field. The Culex larvae is the species we're most concerned about because the adult is one of the most prone to carry dangerous diseases, like West Nile virus. Once my analysis of the larvae is complete, I'll generate a report so the field crew will know how to best treat those specific sites where the samples were collected. I also spend a lot of time identifying other insects, such as bed bugs and spiders, and I'm always performing research to find ways to better protect the citizens of Multnomah County. Most people don't realize that mosquito larvae begin to appear in mid-January, and their numbers don't decrease until late October. So mosquito monitoring and control is pretty much a year-round job.